Hi, um, I was having a problem with one of my game camp laptops where the IntelliSense wasn't working for Unity in Visual Studio, so I had to figure out what was wrong. I'm going to go over the steps of what I did to fix it with you here. First step was I had to make sure that my Visual Studio had the um, Unity component installed in my Visual Studio. So here you could see my install for Visual Studio, and this is the Visual Studio installer. So I opened up that first. Basically, the Visual Studio installer is kind of like Unity Hub. You'll see here that there's my one version I have of Visual Studio installed on my system. If you have 2017 also, you may see two of these. But anyway, you're going to pick the one you're using with Unity. And then you're going to click Modify so you can see what is currently installed with your Visual Studio 2019. And here it seems like I have ASP.NET Web Development, .NET Desktop Development, and most importantly over here, the gaming. I have Game Development with Unity. Make sure that's checked. And if it wasn't checked and you had to actually change it, then click on the install button. This will say install there. So you could actually get that installed. So that's the first thing to check to make sure that that's installed with your Visual Studio. The second thing to check is you go to open up, a, let me just open up an example project here. I just want to get to the Unity editor. And then when my Unity opens up, whether there's a project or not, I could just go to edit preferences and go to external tools and external script editor and make sure that it actually has an option that says Visual Studio in it. So here I have Visual Studio 2019. Now what happened on one of the Game Camp laptops is that it said dev environment.exe was what was selected. I guess somebody browsed and tried to select the exe for Visual Studio. That won't work. That's what was wrong with my game laptop. So make sure you pick the one that says Visual Studio here. And then you're going to have to restart Visual Studio if you didn't have that selected for the settings to take effect. So you know you would, you would close Unity and reopen Unity. Now after I close and reopen Unity, which I'm not going to do here with you, then this is what you should see in Visual Studio to see everything's working right. See right there it says attach dot dot dot. But then when it finishes loading up, it should say attach to Unity. This is so you could debug your Visual Studio code with Unity. You need these two options here. That's a good sign if that's there. If that's not there, check these two steps I'm talking about. Then the other thing, of course, as you're typing, and if I put my mouse over things, you should see that the pop-ups tell you that these objects are something known and not unknown. Um, so that's how you get this thing set up if it's not. You made it to the end of the video. I'm so proud of you. This is my website. The main thing I want to show you is that for any of these videos that you've seen on YouTube, I have the tutorial section, which has the blue links for the projects and the orange links are the files. Also, you could go over here and play some of the games we made in the game camp.